Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here at the British Racing School in Newmarket, living a day in the life as a student. We've had a look around so far and met some of the horses. I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me so you can find out more about what it's like to be a student at the British Racing School and find out how you can get involved and basically what it consists of. So let's get started. As you've just seen, the day starts at 6.30am with mucking out and yard work. After this, the students ride their first lot of horses before heading inside at around 8am for breakfast. During their time at the British Racing School, students will work their way up from riding in the indoor menage all the way to coming out of the stalls on the straight gallop. So right now we're at the round gallop. This is where the jockeys or trainees start to work in their fitness. It's kind of their first taste of a more work life experience. This is what they would do when they go on their apprenticeship afterwards they finish here. So here we have them coming past right now, practicing their positions. All of the students have an earpiece on which the instructor can talk to them through. Just at the stalls, their first ever time at the stalls. All of the students are required to wear the same smart clothes. However, you may notice that different groups wear different coloured hat silk. This group graduates next week having finished their course. These horses will all know exactly what it means when the stalls open, so it's the student's job to stay with them as they jump out. What's so amazing about this is before this 18 week course, some of these students will never have even ridden a horse. I'm just going to go and have a go myself now. Feeling a little bit nervous, but very excited to try it out. I'll see you guys after. The horse I was riding was called Mine Not Yours, and he was very experienced, having lived here for over 10 years. Before we set off, one of the instructors called Mike helped me sort everything out. He helped me shorten my stirrups to a length I've never ridden at before, taught me the correct position, and showed me how to bridge and shorten my reins. And then we were off. The first thing we did was go to the outdoor menage so I could practice my position and make sure I had good balance in the saddle. It was a totally different feeling to what I was used to. Instead of bending my leg under me, I had to straighten it and stick my bum out. I definitely struggled to hold this position. Not only did it feel so unnatural, but it also made my knee and my calves really ache. It definitely made me appreciate how fit jockeys have to actually be, but we'll find out a little bit more about that later. And then it was time to head to the round gallops. I'm going to be honest, I was a bit nervous here as I've never really done anything like it, but my horse looked after me so well and I had so much fun. So I just came back from riding, it was absolutely amazing, oh my gosh. To actually go on the round gallops and like have to be in the pose position I think it was called, like really put your lower leg forward, straighten it out, oh it was so tricky, it made my knees hurt so much but I had such a good time, it was so fun and like such an adrenaline boost. So now we're going to go in and have some lunch, because it's their lunch time right now and then I think it's lecture time after that and I'm going to go have a go on a simulator, which is usually what would happen before they would ride, usually they have a week or so on a simulator. But because I can ride, they kind of would just let you know 
give it a go. Um, so get some lunch, go look at a lecture, have a little go on the simulator, and then I'll see you guys after that. This is the main simulator room. So we're gonna make a position that a jockey would make. So if you get down into this position here, put your feet out that way, that's it. Now lower your bottom down, look straight up. Brilliant, that's a really, really nice jockey position. Let's watch Frank and Tori cantering to start the race. Mm -hmm. The knees will do that. And by allowing the shock absorption, what that allows is for the horse to move much more freely. So all you have to do is make a shape like you just made mm -hmm. on a real horse. Fall off basically. <laughs> My time on the simulator showed me how fit jockeys have to be. I could barely do a minute in normal position, whilst jockeys have to be able to do up to three and a half minutes in the racing finishing position, which was something that I could barely even get into, let alone hold. After that intense simulator session, I went and watched a few lectures. One of the groups were having their last lecture, so we're playing a few racing related games and quizzes. So I'm here with Mike Hammond, who's one of the instructors at the British Racing School. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your experience here? Yeah, myself, I have been involved in racing for longer than I care to mention. Um, I started off as an amateur rider. I rode in lots and lots of point to point, so I was lucky enough to ride a few winners. Um, I have trained point to pointers. I've held a trainer's license, trained flat winners, jumps winners, hurdle winners. Um, my son's a professional jockey. My daughter's ridden point to point winners. So I think I can bring a fair amount of experience to the table. Well, certainly sounds like it. So, what qualifications do you offer here at the British Racing School? So the, the students, whilst they're here, do their level one in racehorse care and management. Then, when they've left here after their course, they'll go into the workplace um, and they will do their level two. So they're on an apprenticeship in a licensed trainer's yard when they leave here. We then have a team of workplace instructors who will go and visit them in the workplace, uh, be their mentor, uh, be their social worker, kick them at the backside if they need to get some, some work done, but they'll do their level two. So once they leave here, they're on an apprenticeship on one of the government's apprenticeships. Can you tell me about any former students that have been here, what they've gone on to do? We have quite a hall of fame um, in our canteen here. I think we've got most of the last 10 uh, flat champion apprentices we have had. O'Sheen Murphy, Tom Marcand, uh, Josephine Gordon, David Egan, um, Jason Watson, Kieran Fallon, to name but a few. Yeah. So how does someone get into this? How do they apply for it? What do they need to be part of it? So you can have uh, a riding a background, a riding experience such as you, yours. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got that, that's fine. If the closest you've come to a racehorse is watching the racing on the TV with your granddad, that's absolutely fine too. Um, so we cater for all levels of experience. I think at the moment here we have probably a dozen students that have never sat on a horse before they came. So, and you apply through our website on the brs.org.uk um, and get involved in the start. So what are the costs like to come here? Okay, so as far as the tuition is concerned, there is no cost. Um, we ask the students to pay for their um, accommodation and their food, uh, which I think if you're on a 12 week course is around a 700 pound figure. So uh, that, that's the customer. So 
and that's all accommodation, all food. Yep, laundry, the students do the laundry themselves, but the washing machines are here. So all the tuition and everything else, that's all it is. Yeah, yeah. and from what I've seen, the food and the accommodation is really nice too. Yeah. They have a really nice common room. Yeah. So what's your favourite part of your job here? I think probably seeing the students progress from being a timid rider, um, lacking in confidence, and then you see the big smiles at the top of the straight gallop when they've finished and they've accomplished that. That's Such a good feeling. Absolutely, so satisfying yeah. from our point of view to see their transition all the way through. And it was so like such an adrenaline rush when I was going around, going around the, um, the round canter. Yeah, 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 the round canter. For yeah. The first so then time. the final progression is the straight canter, um, just getting them from start to finish and the big smiles at the end. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's been really great speaking to you. Thank you very much for answering some questions and I've had a great day here. Okay, so I'm here with one of the students, Harry. So, Harry, do you want to introduce yourself and tell them about yourself? Um, I'm Harry, 17 years of age and work for, at the minute currently as a trainee at British Racing School. Trying to work with race horses, trying to get myself out into a uh, job where it's big, big things like this. Big. Um, I've been riding since I was eight months old. Yeah, it started off with a little donkey ride over in Ireland and then I chose to get back into it because I thought, well, there's never been a one-armed jockey before. And I started searching it up on the internet and trying to see if it was a true thing, if there's anything like me out there. Nope, nothing. So I thought, you know what, get in touch with the British Racing School, see what they say, see and hope, hope for the best that I get a course. And I got a nine-week course last year, started in August 25th, and that was good. I learned quite a fair bit. I was riding from the indoor to the outdoor and then, uh, then they stopped me because my reins that I had weren't strong enough for me to hold on to the horse. They said to me, go home for three months, come back and see how you get on with your new prosthetic. I went home, trained with it for a few months, come back on the 1st of February and they decided to keep me on because I'm pushing myself to stupid limits to get up there and um, yeah, and graduate graduate on Monday, 7th of June. Pretty amazing. So yeah. did the British Racing School help you with your prosthetic arm then? Yeah, yeah, we, it was all made from scratch here. We actually made it around the back where there's a shed just full of tools. Mm -hmm. We just made it around there and things. And, and this didn't happen by a horses, did it? No, <laughs> no, no, I'm horses. born like it. <laughs> So, speaking of horses, who's this? This is our hip, a very famous horse, um, 24 years of age, right, and he ran in the Ryanair at Cheltenham. So what have you enjoyed the most about it then? Just being around these, these <laughs> sort of animals. Dopey animals. Yeah, they know, they know their jobs. They teach you how to stay on them. Yeah. They, um, they can teach you how to talk. Yeah, it's not just, they don't just train you here yeah, for being yeah, a jockey, do they? Yeah, they don't. They train you every every part they can. Some days you get you get so happy like to the point you start crying. Like when we when I first made it to the rounds I was near enough in in tears because I never thought I made this far. And then now I'm on the straight and I graduate on the Monday. Okay, thank you so much for asking some questions for me. It's been great to meet you and happy I've had an absolutely amazing day here at the British Racing School in Newmarket. I've learned so much and honestly I wish I could do it justice and show you guys just how incredible it is here. I really highly recommend checking their website out for lots more information. Follow them on their social media, they always post lots in there so you can find out more over there too. They also have lots of open days if you want to come and check it out for yourself or if you want to apply all of that information is on their website. You do need to apply quite a bit in advance because there is a lot of people who want to come here and not much space. Another big thank you to everybody who showed me around today and talked to me about their time here. It has just been such an amazing experience to come and see everything in action. I hadn't put much thought into what goes on behind the scenes of racing before today, but it's really, really opened my eyes. So that's all for me. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.